we're going to provide some definitions for the terms that we're going to see as we talk about logarithmic models. And a logarithmic model is any model whose base function is a logarithm. And the main reason we want to use logarithms here is because the scale is so large. We go from very small to very large in terms of what comes out of it. And so we use a logarithm to condense that and make it so much easier to deal with the numbers because they're smaller and they're easier to wrap our hands around. And so the first of these that we're going to talk about is the pH scale, which measures how many hydrogen atoms, positively charged hydrogen atoms there are. And that's what the pH is for. And this, in essence, determines how acidic something is. How much does it eat away at other objects? The second one we're going to talk about is earthquake intensity, which is how strong an earthquake is. As the plates shift and move, how much damage can they cause? What, can, what happens to them? And how much energy is just dis is dispersed over that? And the Richter scale is the scale, it's a logarithmic scale, used to measure the intensity. Loudness is the intensity a sound makes. How much energy is there? And depending on how much energy there is, that determines on how loud it is or how soft it is. So this loudness, this intensity, impacts our ability to hear things. Musical pitch is specifically defined as a frequency of a note. And things specifically are said to be octaves of each other if they are simply doubles. So if one is double the other, then they're the same pitch. So something that's 440, which is actually our A, and 880 is also our A, but they're said to be an octave apart. So this one sounds higher pitched than this one, even though it sounds, other than that, roughly the same. And the brightness that we're talking about is star brightness. And this is how much effective energy, how much effective watts reaches Earth. And the more there is, the brighter the star, or the closer the star was to us, that sent that light towards our planet. And so these are the different terms and types of problems we're going to look at in this section.